I'm going to address an issue that is um, a serious issue, a rampant sin in the church currently. And uh, I'm going to start by reading reading something from Ezekiel. Ezekiel 8, 12. Then he said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel are doing in the dark, each in his room of pictures? For they say, the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. Of course, that is talking about idolatry, but there is another abomination that's taking place in the church currently. And uh, it's no less hideous than that. And that sin is pornography. There are brothers, many brothers in Christ who are guilty of, of this, partaking in this sin in the dark, their secret room of pictures, as though the Lord doesn't see. But he does see, brothers. He does. And his spirit is in you, and you're forcing him to look at that as well. It's a detestable sin to him. And if you are one of the many, many Christian men who is secretly indulging in this sin, I'm calling you now, entreating you to repent of this sin, to wash your robes, to receive God's mercy, to ask him for his grace to turn away from this sin. There is grace available to you to do that, and I hope that you will. The Lord is going to have a spotless bride. And he's calling us all right now to wash our robes, if necessary, that we may have the right to eat from the tree of life. There's only two ways to have a spotless bride. One, is that the saints clean, cleanse themselves through repentance. And the second way uh, is for the saints to be cleaned out. Cleaned out of the body, cleaned out of the city. So the call of the hour is Clean up or be cleaned out. Nothing unclean will enter the city. No one in a spotted robe will be able to eat from the tree of life. The people who conquer during the tribulation are going to be those saints who have washed their robes. That great multitude before the throne of Christ, these were saints who had washed their robes. Therefore, they were victorious. God doesn't support rebels. He never has. He never will. If you're rebelling against him now, don't expect him to support you during that time of testing. You will fall. You have no help if you're fighting against your helper. Pornography is a very serious sin. Um, it's a rampant sin among Christian men, 
among men in general, but among Christian men. And not just on the internet, although that's the primary place, um, but movies as well. Watching simulated sex, watching two people pretending to have sex with each other is pornography. <laughs> as far as God is concerned, you are vicariously participating in the sexual act. It's no different than women reading romance novels. That's a sin too. So if you are a woman and you are indulging in mental pornography through those books and things, then you need to repent of that. It's very hard. Um, you know, I'm a woman, but on the internet, there is so much filth that I would advise a brother who has this weakness or this compulsion to just stay off of it altogether. The Lord said if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It's better to lose that than to be thrown into hell in the lake of fire, as it were. So, do what you need to do um, to get cleaned up. Repent. You're not hidden. Obviously, you know that. You know it's wrong. You need to stop doing it. The Lord is there to help you. Um, and he's not just going to help you in one area of your life. If you have other known sins that you're not willing to repent of, you can't come to him and ask him to deliver you from pornography. You have to bring the other stuff as well. But if you do that, he will. So, you know what you need to do. And I encourage you, I plead with you to do that now. And uh, to cleanse yourself. Remember not to grieve the Spirit of God. He's in you. And he is seeing what you're doing. So, I hope that you'll take that advice and uh, do the right thing. The Lord be with you.